I've created a custom reusable workflow named Dan Custom Workflow that I want to use on my sales and R&D sites, but not the marketing, HR, or top-level sites. I've already created my workflow in SharePoint Designer and saved it as a template, which saved the workflow as a WSP file to the Site Assets document library of my corporate site collection. You can see the name of the workflow right here. I need to save this as a WSP file to a file share or to a local folder on the server so that I can upload it to the Solutions Gallery. So I'll click the down arrow next to the workflow name, point to Send To, and then click Download a Copy. I'll click Save in the dialog box. I'll enter the path to my file share and click Save again. OK, the download is complete, so I'll close this dialog box. I'll open the Solution Gallery for the site collection that I want to use the workflow with. To upload the solution, I'll select the Solutions tab in the ribbon and then click Upload Solution. In the Upload Document dialog box, I'll click Browse. In the Choose File to Upload dialog box, I make sure that the file share I copied the WSP file to is listed here. I select the WSP file and then click Open and then click OK. The Activate Solution dialog box appears. I'll click Activate, which makes this workflow available as a feature to all sites in this site collection. Note that this doesn't activate the feature on any sites, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The name of the workflow appears here, and you can see that the status is set to Activated. Now the workflow contained by this WSP file is available as a feature on all sites in this site collection. I want to use this workflow on my sales and R&D sites, but not my other sites. So I'll go to the Site Settings page for my sales site first. In the Site Actions section, I'll click Manage Site Features. On the Site Features page for the Sales site, you can see that my workflow template is available but not active. I'll go ahead and activate it now. And it's now active. Now I'll do the same thing for the R&D site. Click Activate, and now it's active. Now my custom workflow is available to associate with lists and libraries on both the sales and R&D sites. Let me show you. In the Shared Documents library for my R&D site, I'll point to the Library tab in the ribbon, point to Workflow Settings, click Add a Workflow, and you can see that my custom workflow is right here.